is this whole system architected when it comes to an iot based vm uh, so at the lowest layer you still have these field devices which are similar to the field devices you would get in a bms right these are devices sensors or actuators that are talking over um analog or digital inputs and outputs 0 to 10 volt 4 to 20 milliamp etc right? uh, where things start changing is that uh, rather than a traditional ddc which is wired then with the backnet controller you put in an io card which is then communicating wirelessly to uh, to an iot gateway in addition you may actually have some of these equipments that already come with wireless connectivity right i mean there are large oem players pump players uh, some of these valve players uh, actuators that are now coming with connect connectivity inbuilt into them and the chillers uh, and the chillers the chillers also. why add an extra piece of hardware if that connectivity especially the wireless connectivity is coming in so you will see more and more of these api integration that will happen the soft integration without any hardware these io cards or the gateways will then will um, also talk to the new age equipment that come with their own wireless api based interface right um an interesting thing to now uh, also look at it is that it is at this gateway layer again things are very different um because rather than wiring all of these io cards back within a large building or within a campus that may have multiple buildings all the way to a central backnet controller you may think of a large building as smaller zone and each zone may have its own io card a, a whole bunch of io cards one gateway and the gateway directly communicating to the cloud and the notion of the building or the notion of the campus is then a soft notion which comes by aggregating the data from these multiple zones within the building or multiple zones within the uh, campus each served by its own gateway and then everything comes together as a as a building or a campus in this cloud entity and not having to wire everything in this local space once you have all of this data you put this data to the best possible use you are now collecting data pretty much every minute um the storage is cheap compute is cheap uh you process this data through your ai based algorithms create automated tickets right people don't need to infer that data those data data points are inferred by automated algorithms that keep improving themselves as and when they get more and more data and create tickets these tickets will have actionable insights rather than saying that there is little cooling in a specific area the ticket may actually say that there is little cooling because the air filter is blocked right or because the valve is stuck is not operating or because the vfd is stuck at 30 hertz etc right so because these systems are now analyzing data across multiple of these subsystems that analysis goes into the algorithm to create actionable insight for the field technician to operate upon rather than just simply giving a higher level uh diagnosis that there is low temperature or there is high co2 etc um you do of course get a uh, real time visibility of this real time data you get visibility in terms of tickets but then you also can it's a two way communication you can push back the controls as well and by the way those controls are not only managed in the cloud um at every layer of this iot architecture the systems are now smarter so the local pid logic is actually running on the io card itself at the lowest possible layer which means that even if the io card gets disconnected from the gateway it will keep doing its own operation there is another level of edge intelligence that is there at the gateway level which means that even if the gateway gets disconnected from the cloud they keep doing their intelligent operation right and then of course cloud has a whole lot of ai and machine learning and all that right so essentially this iot creates a distributed architecture with intelligence at every layer in this distributed architecture ensuring that even if some sub components sub systems get disconnected they continue to operate in an intelligent manner and ensuring that eventually whatever large volume of data that you collect is put to the effective use by creating um actual insight insightful tickets and by doing automated control without any manual intervention